Coffee Holics, welcome back. Today I am going to share with you the best ever alternative brown sugar latte. And in my previous video tutorials, I have shown you how to make brown sugar latte using condensed milk, evaporated milk, and of course brown sugar. This time, I am going to give you an option for those that do not wish to have condensed milk in their drinks, but we are still going to use an alternative milk. So for this recipe, I am going to make three different types of brown sugar latte, different types of coffee for every budget level, and I'm going to make them in 16 ounces cups. If you are going to offer premium iced coffee drinks, I would suggest you stop at 16 ounces. 22 ounces is too much, and you get the perfect taste, the balance of the coffee, the milk, the ice, and of course, your flavor. For this recipe, we are of course going to use brown sugar and I am going to use my homemade brown sugar. For those that have failed to make homemade brown sugar, here is another method of making them. For my homemade brown sugar this time, I am going to make it foolproof and absolutely no crystallization in the end. Two ingredients, brown sugar and water, and I'm going to add pandan leaves just to make sure that there is a little bit of that fragrant smell of pandan. It doesn't really taste like pandan, but it will smell more delicious. It's entirely optional. I'm going to make a small batch. I'm going to use 200 grams of brown sugar. Muscovado sugar is perfect, or if you have black sugar, that's even better. This is as close to black sugar as I can. And also 200 grams of, or 200 milliliters of plain water. The first, I'm going to put my pandan leaves into my saucepan and then add my water. I'm going to bring this to a boil and simmer for about three minutes. After three minutes, add the brown sugar. This time, we are not going to mix or stir any of this mixture. Just let the brown sugar dissolve by itself. Now, unlike white sugar, you cannot see if the brown sugar is fully dissolved. So you just have to wait. Once the mixture starts to boil, lower the heat and simmer for 10 minutes. For sure, your sugar will be fully dissolved at this point. Don't touch it, don't even swirl it. After 10 minutes, this is our resulting mixture. Let it cool down. For some of you, the resulting syrup might not be thick enough, but it will thicken further as it gets colder. So leave it and if you'd like it to be very thick in texture, you may refrigerate. For some, they add butter or even cornstarch. I don't want to do that. I just want it to be naturally brown sugar. Put it in a squeeze bottle and we are ready to use. Finally, we have our brown sugar. What else do we need as ingredients? We are going to use evaporated milk this time, no condensed milk, and we are going to use my dark roast coffee beans. So we are going to make three different types of brown sugar latte. One is using the French press, another is using the espresso, and finally one which is using instant coffees. Let's start by preparing our brewed coffee using the French press. For this, I am going to use a proportion which is one is to 10. So I'm going to put 150 milliliters of hot water into here, and for 10, one is to 10 proportion, I need 15 grams of coffee beans. So I'm going to use my grinder here. So freshly ground coffee. I'm going to adjust my grind to coarse grind. I'm going to now grind my coffee. So freshly ground coffee is better. Okay, so there you go. I have my coarse ground coffee here and I'm going to put them into my French press. That's 15 grams of coarse ground coffee. And then I'm going to add 150 milliliters of water. So give it a short stir, just to make sure that your ground coffee will be infused into the water. And we are going to wait for four minutes. Okay, so let's put this aside for now. Let's start by making our instant coffee brown sugar latte. I need two teaspoons of instant coffee. We are going to make a different presentation this time. Something simple and yet very pretty and also very effective. So I'm going to dissolve it in two ounces or 60 mils of hot water. 
Now I'm using here Nescafe Gold Crema, so you can see it's full of crema. And our French press is finished brewing. Let's stop that. And then I'm going to push the plunger down. We're going to come back to this a bit later. There's also a lot of crema there. Brewed coffee done. Let us assemble our drinks. Now this time I am going to use a scale just to make sure I get everything in the right proportion. Okay, so instead of using my measuring cup, I'm going to use my scale. So I put my glass there, tear, and I am going to add two ounces of my brown sugar syrup. Two ounces sounds like a lot, but this is brown sugar and it's not really as sweet as you think. But then again, of course, you can always adjust this to be less than two ounces. I put this to tear again, and if you think of the ice that you put into your drink, I normally would put about 200 grams of ice, so let's try that. If you really want to make the taste of your drinks consistent, you can also measure the ice that you put into your cups. So that is now 188 and that is 200 grams of ice and then to this I am going to add I'll tear this once again and I am going to add 60 milliliters of evaporated milk that's two ounces of evaporated milk and now to put my coffee on top And to be honest, if you serve it like this, not so full, that's okay. Or you can fill this up to the top with ice if you think you'd like to really want to make it look full, okay? But it's entirely up to you. Okay, so this is now my brown sugar latte using instant coffee. Now, let's go to the next one, brown sugar latte using my fresh pressed brewed coffee. Let's see how much is the yield of my brewed coffee here. This is 150 milliliters, so now I am going to see how much is it. So I got about four ounces or 120 milliliters of brewed coffee, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. In my recipe, in my book, The Basic Barista, you will note that for 16 ounces, I need 4 ounces or 120 milliliters of brewed coffee. Now this one is using French press. You can also use the same recipe for cold brew. Put our cup there, set it to tear, and also we are going to use 2 ounces of my brown sugar. Now I just want to do it faster, so I'm going to take off the lid and just going to pour it straight into my glass. Tear it again and we're going to put 200 grams of ice. Tear, we're going to add 60 milliliters of our evaporated milk. Okay, so I think that's about 60 milliliters of evaporated milk and then we are going to pour our brewed coffee on top. French press brewed coffee, done, okay? Brown sugar, second drink, down. And now for our final drink, I'm going to use my cool down espresso shot here. I pulled this earlier, so I've got no more crema left there. Still have a little bit. The same way, we are going to use the same proportion. This time, I'm going to assemble this straight into my cup, tear, and once again, we are going to put two ounces of our brown sugar. With um, espresso shot, you probably can afford to put less, but then, like I said, this is commercial. You can adjust according to your own sweetness preferences. And then tear it again, and we're going to add our ice, which is 200 grams. 60 ml of our evaporated milk. So that's about 60 ml of our evaporated milk. 
and then I'm going to pour my espresso shot over. We have our espresso brown sugar latte, French press brown sugar latte, and then our instant coffee brown sugar latte using evaporated milk. For those that do not have evaporated milk in your country, you can replace this with half and half. The next question would be, can you replace evaporated milk with just simply plain milk? That's also uh, entirely up to you, but I'm telling you that this is something that you must try. Evaporated milk with brown sugar and your choice of coffee brewing method. Now it's time to give them a try. I'm going to start with the one that I brewed using the French press. Now because some of your brown sugar might be very, very thick, it might be hard to dissolve them in your ice drink. So be sure that you mix them well. If you use my brown sugar recipe, it's not that thick. It's more like syrup rather than sauce, okay? That's why we put it at the bottom, okay? Not like along the sides of your cup or your glass. Okay, let, let me try. Wow. Mm. That is very desserty. I can taste my strong coffee and also the brown sugar gives you that beautiful taste and smell. And it just makes it so rich and so flavorful with that evaporated milk. You won't know this until you try. Okay, now this one is using my, now what is this? I think this one is using my espresso shots. Okay. Wow. That is absolutely delicious. Mm. I'm liking this a lot. And of course, this is my recipe, I should like it. But I've done a lot of experiments and this one I think is the one that works best for me. And if it works for me, it could possibly work with you. So give this a try, okay? Now this one is the one using instant coffee. Mm. That is also good. Instant coffee, espresso, and this is French press or even cold brew, the same recipe. Well, there you go. Three different types of brown sugar latte using alternative milk, which is only evaporated milk. That's all I would like to share with you today. If you have any questions, do let me know, comment below. Also, once you have tried the recipes, do let me know how they go for you. I am always looking forward to receiving feedbacks from you. In the meantime, don't forget to check out my books, The Basic Barista and All Things Milk Tea. Details on how to order in the description box below. I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.